بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رسپیکٹڈ آل السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ویلکم یو آل آن بہاف آف علم و عرفان انسٹیٹیوٹ دا مشن آف آور انسٹیٹیوٹ از ایز فالوز اکارڈنگ ٹو اے ریسرچ لائف از اکول ٹو ففٹین پرسینٹ ٹیکنیکل اسکلس پلس ایٹی فائیو پرسینٹ ہیومن انجینئرنگ دیر فور ایٹ علم و عرفان انسٹیٹیوٹ Our aim is learn to achieve excellence in any technical skill by following the best learning methodology that is do it yourself and practicing the three main pillars of human engineering that are truth honesty and justice to achieve excellence in both the technical skills and human engineering ilmo irfan institute offers a course whose title is popular softwares for developing presentations in windows operating system it is lecture number 2 of this course basics of presentation i am your instructor nazia jahan let's start with lecture outline inshallah in this lecture first i will present quick recap after that i will present steps for solving any real world problem using a template based approach finally i will present basics of presentation let's have a quick look on a quick recap of previous lecture in previous lecture i presented how to use the power of smile and appreciation to stay happy and motivated after that i presented how to achieve excellence in both the technical skills and human engineering through this course then i presented a brief introductions about the instructor of the course after that i presented course aims course learning outcomes and course content and in the last i presented course development and teaching methodology now i will discuss second part of this lecture that is steps for solving any real world problems using a template based approach inshallah i will use the following steps to solve a real world problems using a template based approach the step number 1 is completely and correctly understand the real world problem the step number 1 is further divided into two sub step step 1.1 real world scenario in the first sub step i will write down the real world scenario and in the second sub step i will highlight main points in the real world scenario the second sub step of step 1 is extract real world problem from real world scenario again this step is further divided into two sub step in first sub step i will write down descriptions of real world problem and in the second sub step i will summarize real world problem in one word phrase and sentence in step 2 proposed solution for the given real world problem the step 2 is further divided into four sub step in the first sub step i will write down description of the proposed solution In the second sub step I will summarize proposed solution in one word phrase and sentence In the third sub step I will write down given and task for proposed solution In the fourth sub step I will write down input and output for proposed solution Inshallah in the next slides I will present a simple detailed and self explanatory example to demonstrate how we can execute the steps that we can use to solve any real world problem step number 1 completely and correctly understand the real world problem the first sub step of step 1 is a real world scenario the first sub step is write down the real world scenario here we have a real world scenario miss nazia jahan is the head of design department at ilmo irfan institute pakistan 
the CEO of Ilmo Irfan Institute has asked her to plan, design and develop a course to teach a professionals from academia and industry how to make high quality presentation using Microsoft PowerPoint 365. The second sub step is highlight the main point in the real world scenario. As you can see on the presentation slide, Ms. Nazir Jahan is the head of department at Ilmo Irfan Institute, Pakistan. The CEO of Ilmo Irfan Institute has asked her to plan, design and develop a course to teach professional from academia and industry. How to make high quality presentations using Microsoft PowerPoint 365. Step 1.2 Extract real world problem from real world scenario. The first sub step of step 1.2 is write down descriptions of real world problem. The descriptions of real world problem is to deliver high quality lectures, talk, etc. It is important to first plan, design, and develop high quality presentations both in academia and industry. The second sub step of step 1.2 is summarize real world problem in one word, phrase, and sentence. The summary of real world problem is plan, design, and develop high quality presentations for delivering high quality lectures, talk, etc. both in academia and industry. The second step is proposed solutions for the given real world problem. The first sub step of step 2 is write down descriptions of the proposed solution. The descriptions of the proposed solution is to improve the quality of presentation delivery both in academia and industry. It is important to first learn how to make high quality presentations using a simple, powerful and widely used presentations making softwares that is Microsoft PowerPoint 365. The second sub step of step 2 is Summarize the proposed solution in one word, phrase, and sentence. The summary of proposed solution is Plan, design, and develop high quality presentations to improve presentation delivery both in academia and industry using Microsoft PowerPoint 365. The third sub step of step 2 is Write down given and task for proposed solution. The given is presentation content, Microsoft PowerPoint 365, and a good internet connection. The task is plan, design, and develop high quality presentations using Microsoft PowerPoint 365. The fourth sub step of step 2 is write down input and output for proposed solution. The input is presentation content and the output is high quality presentation. Important note, the rest of this course comprises of proposed solution that is plan, design and develop high quality presentations to improve presentation delivery both in academia and industry using Microsoft PowerPoint 365. Let's move to the first to-do and your turn task of this lecture. The first to-do task is write down at least two real-world scenarios whose one of the main requirements is to plan, design and develop a high-quality presentation. The first your turn task is for the real world scenarios selected in to do task 1, execute the steps mentioned in this lecture to solve any real world problem using a template based approach. After discussing the steps to solve any real world problem, 
using a template based approach i will present basics of presentation let's start with the definition of presentation a presentation is defined as a speech or talk in which a new product idea and a piece of work is presented and explained to an audience the main purpose of the presentation is to completely and correctly present an idea product or a piece of work to a target audience an important question is why should we learn to develop high quality presentation the possible answer to this question is a high quality presentation help us to tell an interesting connected and coherent story while presenting any ideas work product etc secondly present very complex information in a simple and interesting way to a large audience on the basis of wide range of subjects presentations are commonly and widely used in academia public talks business and many more some of the main characteristics of high quality presentations are as follows the first one characteristics is a good story a presentation should tell an interesting connected and coherent story the second one characteristics is optimal level of engagement a presentation should not only involve its audience in term of body time and money but it should also involve them in term of heart mind and soul as well the third characteristics is impressive and relevant visual effects a presentation should contain simple relevant and impressive visual effects to not only attract attentions of the audience but also fascinate them the fourth characteristics is create an interactive environment a presentation should create an interactive environment so that audience may ask questions to completely and correctly understands your ideas work etc the fifth characteristics is completely and correctly summarized and pass main messages a presentation should completely and correctly summarize all the main points so that the main message is completely and correctly understood by the audience the sixth characteristic is create curiosity for future presentation a presentation should create curiosity in audience for presentations to be delivered in near future the fourth characteristic is audience feels motivated and confident at the end of presentation audience should feel motivated and confident to perform task mentioned in the presentation some of the popular and widely used presentation development softwares are microsoft powerpoint 365 keynote canva google slide ledus prezi focus key and pitch the focus of this course is on microsoft powerpoint 365 prezi focus key and pitch now let's move to the second to do and your turn task of this lecture the first to do task is search at least two presentation from web which are developed using the following presentation development softwares that are microsoft powerpoint 365 and focus key the first your turn task is what mediums other than presentations are suitable for delivering high quality lectures talks etc now let's move to the lecture summary to summarize in this lecture i presented number 1 steps for solving any real world problems 
using a template based approach secondly i presented basics of presentation and in the last i presented popular and widely used presentation development softwares in next lecture inshallah in the next lecture i present basics of microsoft powerpoint 365 Hazrat Huzaifa Raziyala Anha said Recitation of the Rude Park affects the reciter his her children grandchildren and many generations that are the blessings and benefits of the Ruj Sharif reach many generations of the reciter may Allah give us the strength to recite the Ruj Sharif abundantly amen We shall be very thankful to you if you may please provide your valuable feedback on this lecture. Jazakumullah khair. May Allah bless all of us with his afiyat and karam both in this world and hereafter. Amin ya rabbul alamin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.